Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be creating this Onam look. So for the first step, I'm going to be using this found, uh, moisturizer from Nivea. All the products that I'm going to be using in this video are the products that I've already showed you in my previous makeup tutorials. So I'm not using anything new. Everything is affordable. Everything is available like easily for everyone. So for lip balm, I'm using this lip balm from Nykaa. It's very, you know, different and cool to use this kind of lip balm. Then I've applied the primer. I'm sorry, I couldn't show that to you all. But always remember to apply a primer. I used Color Bars Primer. Then I'm applying this foundation from uh, Maybelline. This tube foundation is very affordable range. And make sure you choose the right uh, shade of foundation for your skin. If by mistake you chose the wrong shade of foundation, even there are certain tricks and tips, you can work with the foundation. Don't think you go, you'll have to waste it. Some way that will be used for it or if you can't use it, please give it to somebody who can use it. So just don't waste it. Then I'm applying this concealer from Maybelline. So I'm concealing my under eye around my mouth, around my nose and all. If you have really great big pigmentation, even that time you can, you know, work with uh, such kind of makeup by applying color, color correctors. There are so many color correctors available out there. Uh, one day I'll take a tutorial on how to choose the col correct color corrector for you, you yourself. Because you'll have to figure out what kind of undertone you have. It might be pink, yellow or green. Then I'm using the setting powder from Revlon. It, this powder is very, uh, you know, very nice for the skin. It doesn't make skin too dry. Mine is a very dry skin. So when I apply this powder, I don't feel my skin is becoming too dry. And I always set the areas where I apply the concealer alone. I don't apply the powder throughout my face. Then I'm applying uh, blush from, uh, again, Revlon. I'm sorry if I'm telling the wrong uh, product description. I will leave all the product description in the des description box below so you, you all can check it out. And all the products that I'm using in this are very good and affordable products. For eyebrows, I'm not, you know, going to do anything. I'm just going to brush off all the extra powder or any foundation on it because I already have a well-defined eyebrow. But if you have a um, very thin eyebrow or a very, you know, less hair eyebrow, that time you can just apply some brown shade or very dark shade from your eyeshadow palette itself if you don't have anything for your eyebrows. Then I'm using this eyeshadow palette. This shadow, this palette has a wide range of, you know, shimmery shades and dark shades and lighter shades as well. So I'm going with that first transparent shade around my eyelids. You know, I just want to give an even tone. So I'm choosing that shade. And this brush, this blending brush is from Miniso, which is so comfortable and so fluffy and soft. And it is actually taking out a lot of products, so I would always suggest to tap off the powder, then use the product on your lids. Then I'm taking that light yellowish orange shade for my crease. Then I'm selecting this dark orange shade. You know, always try to co combine lighter shade, then a medium shade, then a dark shade for the outer corner, then a shimmery shade for the inner corner. I've already put up an, um, you know, how to apply eyeshadow easily in my uh, channel. So please do check it out if you want to know how to apply eyeshadows very easily. Then I'm taking this dark brown shade for the outer corner. This is the basic way you can apply eyeshadows, but there are so many innovative and creative ways you can apply eyeshadows. Only thing is you need practice. Once you start practicing on yourself on daily basis or on weekly basis itself, you'll get a hang of it. It's not such a big deal. You'll start loving to do it. Then I'm taking the shimmery shade for my inner corner. I'm applying with a brush, but it doesn't set on my lids, so I'm using my fingers itself. For 
my under eye i'm just combining this lighter and darker orange shades and i am applying it under my eyes don't apply too much of under eye shadow it we might end up looking like zombies then i'm applying uh, you know for my inner lids i i applied some shimmer you can also apply that to make your eyes pop out a little bigger then i'm curling my lashes with the curling wand this is very cheap it is available in any drug store or any you know small fancy stores uh when you curl your lashes when you apply the mascara it really looks really good that's why i, I always prefer using the uh, curling wands then i'm applying this eyeliner a thin liner thin line not too thick a just small thin line uh this eyeliner is from maybelline as well i'm somebody who you know who's obsessed with not wasting anything i just do i know owning so much is such a great thing but i haven't yet started doing uh like buying a lot of products and then using it on daily basis it it is going to take some time so let's wait and you know continue watching my channel soon we'll be exploring more uh, makeup products out there then i'm applying kajal i'm applying a really thick line because i really want my eyes to pop out then i'm applying it on my upper and lower water line once i finish applying kajal and eyeliner i'm going for mascara never skip skip this step because the one thing is it pops the eye out really well second thing is there'll be so much of powder on your lashes if you want that to go away you can always apply mascara and make it go away it will look complete and it will make your eyes look really big and lashes will look gorgeous this uh, mascara is from maybelline as well it is a really really great investment i would really recommend you all to buy this lashes uh, this mascara and i'm i'm not going to be applying any fake lashes for today's tutorial then i'm going to highlight i'm using this stick my favorite stick from miniso uh you actually this is for the, for my eyes but i'm using it as a has a highlighter and it has worked for me so well i've been using it for the past one year i guess and for any function i go i just carry this and go it is so travel friendly and so easy to use and i use my hand to apply it don't use any blender or brush it takes off the product So once I finish with highlighting I'm moving on to my lips. I'm using this mini li uh, matte liquid lipstick from Sugar Cosmetics. I will leave all the product descriptions in the description box below so not to worry. I'm not using any liner and all just directly applying it and make sure when you apply a matte lipstick uh, it will make your lips look dry. So I always suggest you all use a really good lip balm or apply a lot of lip balm. It will make the process um, I mean application more easy and it will not make your lips look dry. then what is a festive look without a bindi i'm just combining this uh, dark maroon bindi with a light uh, small stone bindi you can use this trick you know if you don't have a festive kind of bindi at home on my jewels and i put some flower hope this video has made your look very festive Okay guys I guess you all enjoyed this video uh, and uh, for me as well it's a very special location because it's my first onam uh, because I'm a Tamil Malayali because I'm married into a Malayali family I uh, hope you all hope this will be a great and safe onam for you all as well so if you like this video please don't forget to give a thumbs up to my uh, video and please don't forget to subscribe and comment on my video so until i meet you all with another video stay safe take care bye